In the question today, we are going to solve quadratic equation using completing the square method. So the question reads, by using completing the square method, solve for x in 4x squared minus 3x minus 6 is 0. The first thing before we proceed is to ensure that the coefficient of x squared is unity. So we are going to have 4x squared minus 3x minus 6 is 0 and then we divide all through by 4. So when you divide all through by 4 what you are going to have is x squared minus 3 over 4 minus 3 over 2 sorry this is 3 over 4x minus 3 over 2 is 0. So the next thing is to take negative 3 over 2 to the right hand side so that we have on the left hand side x squared minus 3 over 4x is equal to 3 over 2. So on the left hand side we are going to complete the square that is we are going to add the missing term so that the expression is a perfect square. So we know that given a quadratic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, then if the expression is a perfect square, then the constants a, b, and c are related as follows. So we have b over 2 squared is equal to ac. But remember that we had made the coefficient of x squared unity so that means that a is equal to 1 so basically we are going to say b over 2 squared is equal to c so using this in this problem we are simply going to have this so for us to get the constant term which is c in this case we are simply going to say b over 2 squared so for our case, b is negative 3 over 4, so we are going to have a half times b, that is a half times negative 3 over 4, that should be negative 3 over 8. So that is what we are going to have here, so x squared minus 3 over 4, x plus c and our c is negative 3 over 8 and remember we are squaring so that is b over 2 squared and then on the right hand side we will have 3 over 2 but because we had added something on the left hand side the same should apply to the right hand side for balance so we have negative 3 over 8 squared so at this particular point we have the left hand side completed so we have the square completed so after that we are going to factorize the left hand side and we're going to factorize as follows so given a perfect square as this one we can go straight away for example if you're given x squared plus bx plus c so long as it is a perfect square then we factorize by simply saying x then the sign that follows is plus so we say plus b over 2 and then you square so when you expand this you need to get back to this expression so applying that at this particular point we are simply going to have x and then the sign that follows is minus then we have a half of b and our b is 3 over 4 so a half of 3 over 4 is 3 over 8 and then you square so when you square this you'll get back to this expression here so on the right hand side we have 3 over 2 plus so this is 9 over 64 so when we add this this should give us 105 all over 64 so in other words we have x minus 3 over 8 squared is equal to 105 all over 64. 
Remember we are interested in x and that means we are going to find the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of x minus 3 over 8 squared is equal to the square root of 105 over 64 and of course here we have plus or minus. So the left hand side becomes x minus 3 over 8 and the right hand side we will have plus or minus. So the square root of this is 1.2805 or rather this is 0 9. And then negative 3 over 8 also is 0 0.375 so we'll have x is equal to so 3 over 8 crosses and we have positive 0 0.375 plus or minus this 1.2809 so x becomes so we take 0 0.375 plus 1.2809 and that gives us the first value of x which is 1.6559 or the other value of x is so we take 0 0.375 minus 1.2809 and from my calculator i'm getting negative 0 0.9059 and finally we have the solution so that is it for this question Thank you for watching, hope to see you in the next video.